All right, there we go. We are officially live. Good evening, my fellow comic book collectors. My name is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics, and yes, but your eyes do not deceive you. I actually did a video where I gave people advance notice, and I already see people are here, so that's good. So uh, first off, I always want to start out by letting people know I am selling my comic mystery boxes and I'm also selling some of the comics that were on the site um, from our move. It's helping to support our family, so if you're interested in that, you can click on the links. They are also in the description, so thank you to each and every one of you who even just share the link or even just take a visit. I appreciate it. Well, let me say hello so we still give people a couple more seconds to come on in, because as of now, it says zero people are watching even though we have all these comments from people. Gotta love YouTube. So we got Jerry, your first welcome. He was here a couple of hours ago. I saw his comment. Same with Comic Addiction. He's one of our moderators. Daryl's here. Uh, well Hung Wong. Uh, gotta love some of these usernames. Uh, Ricky is here. Rush is here. Joe is here. Moon Knight. We have a Marvel character here. Mac the Comic Hunter. Steve, Rob, Bob, Michael, Ruben, NC Slapjacks is here. And all of a sudden, it just um, shut up. Let's see. Lawrence, Victor, Rand, Matt, Lee, Harvey. Good to see another moderator. I like donuts. Bennett, Lewis, Tamel, or Tommel, Lawrence, James, Ben, Collector, Sean, Raymond, and many, many more. Mr. Rockfish, welcome. So it went from 0 to 39. I like that. So uh, I have a comic that most of you already know about. This is not a new comic. But I know you guys love when I mention suggestions about books, uh, whether people want to admit it or not. People like these speculation videos. I mean, they're always constantly my number one viewed um, content on my channel. So it's I want to give people what they want. And I have a comic that just arrived today. Another one of those wonderful eBay packages. And I say that very facetiously. And... Um, I had to do the quote-unquote unboxing already because basically we don't have mailboxes where I'm at. Uh, we have like a little P.O. box that we have and they folded it in half and placed it in there. But luckily um, it's right by the pool and I go swimming every day. That's one of the things I now really love about Florida. Um, getting into much better shape. I, I swim every day. But the, uh, the P.O. boxes are right there. So I got it right there as he was putting it already in there. Obviously, I didn't know they were gonna actually try and fold this in half. So luckily that minimized the damage, but there is some damage and I've already contacted the eBay seller. Um, you gotta love um, some of the quote unquote protection. So let me put on the video and don't forget guys, wait until the end, um, stick around, especially if you're one of my power viewers or ultra power viewers because I always do a surprise subscriber shout out and this is going to be a quick little video. It's only one comic, but here you go. Here's the wonderful packaging of the book. So they were nice enough to put these two pieces of paper as protection. And that's it. So they did put it in a top holder, a top loader, which I think helped it a little bit. But I did notice, because I did take it out already, uh, there's a couple of little uh, creases so I told the person I either want a partial refund or they can have it back. But this is a comic that's been out for a while. It's a first appearance of a major character. It's a modern book that the prices have gone down to the point where I think it's really hit either close or at rock bottom. And these are going to start, this book is going to start going up again in the next probably two years or so. Maybe less than that because you never know when they make an announcement. So the idea is if you're a smart investor, especially if you're buying comics for investments, and like I said, whether some people like it or not, no matter what content I put, my number one videos are my speculation ones, which means that's what the people want. Um, if you're a smart investor, you want to buy low when nobody's talking about a book and either keep it, have co extra copies so you can do trades. That's something I mention a lot about getting duplicate copies. I have several copies of this book. Or if you want to turn around and sell them, you can and make yourself a nice little profit. Um, it's it. Comic books can be better than stocks, can be better than precious metals, can be better than a lot of investments if you do it right. The problem is most people buy what I call the flavor of the month. They buy a book the day it comes out for $30, $40. 
They uh, find out a week or two later that book is now down to $5 and nobody wants it. So you got to be careful. So yes, this is a, a modern book, but it's a book of a major character that's going to be introduced in the um, MCU in the next couple of years. And there, this book is just going to skyrocket. When you hear the price I got for this book, you'll understand that now is the time to start buying this book again. So, while I see lots of people leaving comments, I see there's plenty of people. They are shivering with Antissa... Patient. Here is the book I just got. And of course, I always mention the prices. But before I do it, please make sure you hit the like button. Share this video. Make sure you let other people know about it. And without further ado... Here is the comic that I am talking about. And that is New Mutants number 98. First appearance of Deadpool. Now, before you shut off the video and say, oh, you know, that's a comic we all know about. This book, about two years ago at a 9.8, was going for roughly approximately around the $2,000 range between 1500 and 2000 now that's graded by cgc of course ungraded was probably selling for around 900 to 1200 now of course that's in near mint condition a 9.8 of this book right now is down to about 700 dollars now people that base things on emotion will see that decline get scared They'll start selling the comic and they won't touch it again thinking, well, it's going to stay down. Smart investors know there are curves when it comes to investments. There's going to be highs, there's going to be lows, there's going to be in-betweens. The idea is not to buy when it's at its peak. You want to get it when it's on a decline. Now, of course, you want to be a smart investor. You don't want to be buying a stock when you hear a company's about to go out of business because it doesn't matter if it's declining. Something like that, if a company's going out of business, it's going to shoot to zero. Books like this, the first appearance of Deadpool, is not going to be like a stock that goes crashing and then ends up at zero. But because of the fact that there are so many different comics out there and there's so many movies and TV shows and speculation and going on, people forget certain books and they don't pay attention to them until there's an announcement and it's hot. Now, what do you think happens to the price of a book once that happens? You get a higher increase of demand. Everybody goes to look for the book. The sellers salivate and start raising the prices, knowing that people are going to start outbidding each other, making them higher and higher, and you're spending double, triple, even 10 times more than you should. So right now, this book, in my opinion, is at or near the bottom of where it's going to go. And you're going to start to see a little steady pattern until an announcement comes up because... Fox is now owned by Disney. They are not going to be taking Ryan Reynolds out of playing this character. He's one of the only characters that, from the Fox universe, is going to transfer over to the MCU. Now, he is not getting any younger. He's already either in his late 40s or early 50s. I believe late 40s. So, time's running out. They're gonna, they can only do so much with him before he gets either tired of playing the character or physically not able to. And he is Deadpool. Once they make another announcement of wherever he comes in, this is going to skyrocket. And Andrew, um, is it Kempker, just did a super chat, so thank you. And anybody that does that, I want to read it right away. Uh, he says, what do you think uh, is a bigger spec book? Fantastic Four 67 or Thor 165? Um, hard to say. This is what I tell when it comes to characters that have multiple quote-unquote first appearances when it comes to, you know, like somebody like Adam Warlock um, or even to a lesser extent somebody like, for example, Mystique where they have a couple of different cameos or Mary Jane, for example. This is what I say. Get, if there's two or three different versions of what you think might be good, get all of them. So this way you don't have to end up saying, well, I bought the one and it ended up the other one's popular because sometimes it's based on you know, not the first appearance or the cameo appearance or the full appearance. It's based on popularity. You know, the first appearance of Wolverine is Hulk 180. The first full appearance is Hulk 181. But then you talk about, for example, the first Dark Seed or Dark Side. It's normally the first cameo isn't worth as much. But in that particular case, the cameo is worth more than the first full appearance. So it basically goes by 
people's preferences, and that's always hard to tell. So what I say is, if you're unsure about certain comics that have certain different important parts of a character's either origin or first appearance, get them all so you're safe. So that is my right answer. I would not pick one over the other because one could be great and then all of a sudden everybody just for some reason gravitates to the other one and now you're stuck paying more money when you didn't have to. So get the uh, get all of them that are in that particular category and you should be safe. Cover all your bases. So right now, New Mutants 98. Now let me first tell you the price I paid for this. Now this wasn't a buy it now. This was actually an auction. So this was a timed auction that was running out and this is what people were willing to pay for it. Which means there was not a lot of action for this book. That makes people like me who are smart investors salivate. Now they charged $9.30 for this lovely packaging. $9.30 for that secure packaging. Oh, by the way, let me again show you. That's the that's the um, protection they put in there. Okay, so including shipping and handling. At an auction, I paid and won it at one hundred and fifty nine dollars and twenty cents. Now this, because like I said, it was folded, literally curved into the um, mailbox because it's a small little P.O. box that we get. This could have really been majorly damaged but if it sat there. But luckily, I was right there, and probably two minutes after they put it in, I went to my mailbox to get this. But it did break a color in one or two spots, so I mentioned it to the seller. They have yet to respond yet, but bad job on their behalf. So this one right now, probably going to be about an 85 let's say 8.0 to 9.0 range. Right now, a 6.5, of course graded, according to gocollect.com by CGC, is roughly about a $160 book. So this is about between an 8 and a 9. I could probably get some of this pressed out because luckily it did not break color, but it still did some damage a little bit on the back. Some non-color break increases because I, I got it just in time. When they make the Deadpool announcement in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, whether he makes a guest appearance in somebody else's movie, which I really think they might do, or he gets his own feature film right away, this book is all of a sudden going to be hot again. Now, you don't want to be one of those people that waited until the last minute and end up spending more money because this book is going to go up. So I know people might not have thought this is the book that I'm showing right now because there's so many other books to think about, but it's all about timing. This book has now about two years in between mo the movie that just came out, Deadpool 2, and probably another year or two before they even announced Deadpool in another movie. That's enough time to where people stop talking about this book, stop caring about this book, and because people see the price going down, most people who base things on emotion and do the exact opposite of what you're supposed to do stay away from it. The price goes down and people use fear to base their decisions and wonder why they fail more than they succeed. If you know anything about the stock market crash that, that created the Great Depression, all of the multi-billionaires at the top are what caused that crash. I mean, you, people need to learn the history. And as it was crashing, people panic sold and they sold their stocks. Because remember, stocks are different. They can go to zero. But when they plummeted, all of those wealthy people that sold out at the top or near the top who had all the inside information bought back those stocks at pennies on the dollar. And if you look at the history of precious metals, for example, because I have lots of precious metals. I used to talk about that years ago. People, when there's a crash, people panic and they sell. Precious metals is another thing that does not go to zero. So the idea is to catch it when you think you're hitting the rock bottom. Now, I'm not saying this is exactly rock bottom. And, you know, a smart investor doesn't worry about the exact peak of a, box, um, of a rock bottom because it's very hard to do that unless you have inside information. But in my opinion, this is close or near to the bottom right now. And it's going to make a reversal really soon. Now, really soon could be a year from now, or really soon could be some kind of announcement tomorrow. You never know when they pop these things out because somebody might quote unquote leak something, or there's rumors of somebody maybe leaking something and they decide to put something out earlier than expected. 
And you don't want to be caught in that moment where now you're going to spend more money. So this is the book right now. There's many books I'll recommend, and I'll be obviously doing more videos. But this is a book I highly recommend you get right now. So even this got a little bit damaged because the absolute neglect of a seller who had the audacity to charge me almost $10 to ship an envelope. This is still going to make me a lot of money if I turn around and sell it. Now, I have many copies of this book. Uh, two of them I bought the day they came out back in the days, so I spent a total of a dollar for two of them. But I will add these anytime I see them. And I see people spending two, three, four hundred dollars on this book. I got it for basically about a hundred and sixty dollars. That's a great price for this, especially. I again, I think it'll come out between an eight and a nine. I guess we'll find out. Uh, I will send this in to get graded in the next couple of months, and we'll find out. But trust me on this. This is a book you want to get now because it's reached near the bottom and it's going to start doing a reversal soon and you don't want to be caught in the middle of that and end up having to spend more because now you waited too long. Everybody else is now demanding they get this book and the prices shoot up. It's going to be quick. So you don't want to be that person caught in that, that comic book tsunami. So that is the book. This is New Mutants 98, first appearance of Deadpool. I'm shocked that it even went as far down as it did, but for buyers like me that are smart investors, I'm very happy to spend $160 on a book that eventually will probably be a four or $500 book. If people want to panic sell and base things on emotion and not do their own research, you know, you get what you give. So if you give nothing, don't be surprised you get nothing. So that's why I tell my subscribers, my, my smart subscribers, do your research. Make sure you pay attention to what's going on. Anything right now that's X-Men related, Fantastic Four related, like even Silver Surfer, um, Galactus, uh, all these characters that are coming in and have the future in the MCU, you're crazy not to buy these books. Most people don't know what they're doing. Do not follow the masses. Like I've said in several videos, for hundreds if not thousands of years, the masses were convinced the world was flat because that's what they were told. And if the smart people actually went and said, no, the world is not flat, it's round, they got thrown in prison or executed. So the masses do not do know anything about what's really going on. They just follow what somebody else regurgitates because misery loves company. So if you want to be a smart investor, you have to break away from the herd. You have to stop listening to the people that just say things that make you feel good. If you're an investor and you keep losing money, how is that helping you to feel good? It feels really good to buy a book for 159 and in two years sell it for five or 600 so you could buy more comics that you love. To me, it's a no-brainer. But there will be people out there that will say things, and I had a comment just earlier today saying, I'm not a true comic book collector because I sell a couple of my comics and things like that. You can't please everybody. I don't worry about somebody else's ridiculous opinions. Don't worry about somebody else's ridiculous opinions about you. Some people just have nothing better to do. So smart investors are going to listen to this advice and do their own research. They're not going to just go out and buy one just because I said so. If you do that, that is irresponsible on your behalf. I could be wrong. I won't lie to you about it, but I could be wrong about the timing. It may still drop even further. Or they may decide we'll never do a Deadpool. I doubt that, but it's not impossible. So if you just listen to somebody without doing your own research, you better hope they're right. The responsibility lies on you, so make sure you do the work. So that is the video. I want to thank everybody. And as you can see, 102 people watching. That shows that most people are interested in, in speculation videos. I know there are people out there, that the, the, the quote-unquote purists, that seems to hate that stuff. But those same purists will never buy a coverless book and they'll, you know they'll have a problem with somebody getting a reader's copy of a book, you know, saying they, they're they mad at the prices going up. Like, for example, there is a um, reprint of this book, The True Believers, where you could buy it or it came out for a dollar. So if you don't like the fact that this book is like three, four, five hundred dollars $500, and you say you missed out because you decided to wait too long, which is your fault, you could buy the, the reprint for a dollar and still be able to read it. 
but some of the purists, they just like being angry. And that's not something we have here. So let's give today's surprise subscriber a shout out. But before I do, I do want to make sure I, I tell people, please join the cashback program. It is um, a program where it's free to sign up. I posted the link in the live chat. It's also in the description. You sign up for it and you could use it for comic books on eBay, Amazon. You could buy it, use it for other things all over the internet. It's free to sign up. Um, if you spend $25 or more within the first um, 90 days, you get a $10 additional cash back. And with that, I get a one-time referral fee. So it does help me in my recent move here to Florida. Let's do today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you could share that link, it really helps. And I thank you for those that are doing that because, you know, uh, this move, we did not anticipate all of the money that we're spending on things like transferring the titles of our cars to another state. It cost me about $500 just for the one car, all the other things. But, you know, I'm sure if you've moved out of state, you know that yourself. So today's surprise subscriber shout out, and you don't have to be one, but I hope you will subscribe if you haven't, is Ruben Nieves. If I got that wrong and butchered it, please forgive me. Um, if you are one of my power viewers, that means you watch from beginning to end. If you are an ultra power viewer, you watch every video from beginning to end. Either one, make sure you make your presence known in the comment section. Give a shout out to the shout out, and I see Ruben is still here. Excellent. A lot of people stuck around, so thank you so much for that. Love you all. Hope this information helps. Go get this comic, but remember, don't just buy the first one you see. Don't be afraid to ask for deals or wait for deals. And, um, oh, Super Neil. Always good to see him. Uh, he just did a, I think that's Canadian Super Chat, and he did a little thing that says, keep it up. I didn't know you could do that, so that's actually cool. So, Super Neil, uh, good to see you, my friend, and uh, thank you for that. That was very nice of you. So with that, I am going to bid you all a fond adieu. And um, don't forget, it is not you, it is not I, it's We Love Comics. Go get this book, you will not be disappointed. Unless, of course, you overspend. Don't do that. I'll see you next video, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. Oh, and Linda wants a shout-out, so there you go.